hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ijoma if you're stopping by for the first time uh, i am a youtube content creator based in zurich switzerland happy new year to you all and to my old and returning subscribers thank you so so much for your support all along all through the vlogmas season this is my official video not even official but official and unofficial video this is my first official video of the year 2022 and it feels good to be back here, sitting in front of the camera, making videos and talking to you all. And uh, without wasting much of your time, let's dive right into today's video. So, today's video entails how to add value to your life, how to be more fulfilled this 2022, and how to level up. This should be my final video in this level up series. I know I've been talking about leveling up, leveling up so five how to be more fulfilled this year and whatnot the first one should be having a social life i know it's not easy especially with what covid is doing to the, the entire world presently but nothing beats going out once in a while to miss people like me i have i have places to go not really places like here in switzerland the churches organize most churches here organize gatherings one or two times in a week and i've had opportunities to go but i'll always say oh i'm busy i don't have time and there's no point going i'll just relax stay at home <laughs> when you stay at home you always have something to do so going out is also one way to take a break it's also one way to take a rest at least when you go out when you come back you feel refreshed it's more like your cup is filled up not just going out on stressful appointments or others sometimes you just go out to Talk with in people talk with people especially if you're in a country where your first or your one or first and second languages are not spoken so it's also a means of helping you to um learn the learn the language like when i go out presently we speak german outside and it also helps me because the more you communicate sometimes you study everything in school but when you don't communicate you seem to forget everything so when you communicate with people it helps you to improve in your language learning skills that is also an advantage to you even when you're in nigeria is also an avenue for your kids to learn i mean like here um there are gadgets where children come to play and then the parents interact with one another of course it's not always easy to interact with every other person especially in this COVID situation but when your children go out they also tend to improve on their social skills it also helps to build their confidence levels so that when they go out when they meet people they know how to act, they know how, what to say. Also, hanging out with friends is also another means to improve in your social life. When you go out, when you hang out with friends, you laugh, you laugh away some of the stress that has been bothering you. You get answers to some questions concerning motherhood, child, um, parenting, and other stuff. Or even you get also get to know what's happening in the site because sometimes you don't always have the time. You might not always have the time to read books. Even if you have the time, sometimes you get distracted that you don't read books you don't read newspapers or read about what's happening or even listen to the news on tv and other transmitting mediums another way to improve or add value to your life is reading 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 that can never be overemphasized the other day i was listening to a speech by oprah winfrey it was actually something that happened last year but then i was opportunity to listen to it this year better late than never so she says she can never ever overemphasize the importance of reading when you read you acquire knowledge you unlearn you relearn and it helps with your communication skills because the more you read it helps to build your vocabulary whether it's english language any book at all it helps to build your vocabulary even when you read in your native language it also helps you to improve your vocabulary like when you read Igbo books you definitely get one or two proverbs which in turn helps to build your vocabulary it broadens your knowledge you can never say you know it all even when you know it all there's always something to unlearn so reading broadens your knowledge like i am challenging myself this year my plan is to read at least this year i intend to read at least a book every month is you might say it's very easy oh it's very easy yes it is easy but it is not actually easy especially with so many distractions on the internet so many things to read like social media parenting taking care of yourself even trying to catch up with other activities and i have 
started i started with this one it says our ice bag is melting it's me um and then furthermore it says changing and succeeding under any conditions it was actually given to me by my friend shout out to you mama diana thank you so much for this book i intend to read at least a book i've been i i, always, I mean i actually read a lot i read a lot on the internet i read a lot both books i read newspaper whenever i come across something i am always reading but not this not hard 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 web book like i intend to read something on hardcover at least one book every month even the other day i went out i i went to the library i got books for my kids and i got books written in german reason before i'm always reading english books to them but i'm here i need to learn german i am learning it and i am equally trying my best but then when i keep reading in english books english books I only improve my knowledge of English, which I already know at least to a great extent. I can communicate in English, I can express myself in English. But then when it comes to German, I might say there are some things I don't know. So when I, like recently, that we've been reading the books, some words always appear difficult and then I will see myself trying to use Google Translate. And then when I try to, I try um, to let it stick in my head, that's way it doesn't go out. At least it's something I learn. So reading is a very big way to broaden your knowledge, to unlearn and relearn to widen your vocabulary. It also helps you to know how to talk, how command of language. Like when you talk, you know, nothing beats, nothing beats saying the right thing at the right time. When people know that you are someone who is eloquent, when people know you are someone who is eloquent, you might get invited to talk, you might get invited to um, give speeches in a gathering or to inspire people and nothing beats being like when you lift others up, you equally lift yourself up and it also challenges you because when you keep on dishing out um, advice to people, telling them to do this and do that, when you see yourself going against what you say, you know it's always a problem. So it's also a way to hold yourself accountable when you go out to talk. Another way to improve your, to add value to your life is by keeping fit. You might say, oh, it's, it's not just about the physical aesthetics. It helps you to clear your thoughts. It helps to clear your mind. It helps to build your confidence. One major problem mothers usually face after pregnancy and childbirth is having confidence. It's they are, you see them. They always complaining about how puffy they look, how big they look, how they don't look like what they used to be before pregnancy and whatnot. So when you keep fit, it not only helps you to maintain a good um, body mass index. It also helps to build your confidence. It helps you to feel good. It helps. It clears your head mentally. It can never be overemphasized. It helps you in all ramifications. At least you cannot perform when you are not mentally stable. You cannot perform. You cannot be productive when your mind is not working. When you are not focused. So when you keep fit, it helps you. You unleash every anger, everything that is bothering you. It helps you to unleash it, and then you get the end of things that help you to feel good. Nothing is feeling good, and we all know that. Another way to help add value to your life this year and beyond is looking good. Looking good. There is this meme of Rihanna that keeps flying everywhere when she was asked how um what do you do on days you don't feel confident and she says she pretends so when you look good it's also a form of pretense maybe inside you you're not confident enough you're not feeling feelings all right but when you look good people assume oh she looks good and they will assume you look confident they will assume you're confident at least it's better you cannot always control what people think about you cannot always control their minds you cannot always control their thoughts but at least when they think about you, let them think something positive. When they look at you, let them think, oh, she's confident. Let them think about you in a positive manner, not in a negative manner. And when you look good, you feel good. Me, on days I feel worse. I just try to go and dress up. When I dress up, I look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh, each other, you look good. You're beautiful. But why are you stressing yourself? Get up and go do what you're supposed to do. And you know, nothing beats the advice you give to yourself. So for me, looking good is a way to add value to my life. And then, being productive. Nothing beats being productive. Whether you like it or not, nothing beats being productive. Whether you're being productive in making money, whether you're being productive in taking care of the house, or any other way, or even helping people, nothing beats being productive. I should have actually said this one should be number one in terms of making money, but some people might agree with me. Some people might say money is not everything. Some people will also say that 
um, making money should be number one. But for me, anywhere you want to place it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the chronological chronology of the number shouldn't really be a prerequisite or shouldn't matter. What matters most is that you imbibe in them. Like for me, these are the things I intend to do this year and beyond. Like this year, any negative vibe, get out. And in fact, this should be the overall. Nothing beats being in unison with God. Nothing beats God. We all know that this should be number one. This should be the first. Or let let me say I reserve the last, for, the last or the best for the last. So nothing beats being in communion with God. I mean, some people, even if you don't believe in anything, but at least you should hold on to something. You should believe in something, whether you're traditional Christian or Muslim. At least you should believe in a supreme being that, because they are the essence of our life like in our in their hands lies in for me i'm a christian so i'll say in god's hands lies my life like the breath of every mankind lies in the hands of god and nothing beats um something there's a proverb in Hebrew that says so meaning that when you run without god or when you run ahead of god you keep running, 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 and you ne you will never stop running, and you will never be fulfilled because you're always running after something that you don't even know. Something is pushing you, but you don't know what's pushing you. You don't know what you're going after, but you keep running and running. But when one with God is majority, and He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall always abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Even though this is the era of social media, even though everybody like most accounts are open or many accounts are open on social media especially on instagram but then we should detoxify our accounts know the accounts you follow those accounts that bring you down you should always you should unfollow them this 2022 if there is this particular account that you keep looking at whenever you look at that account it makes you feel less of yourself or probably the handler is not impacting any positive making any positive impact on you this is the time to unfollow them. I mean, there are many accounts to follow, many accounts to help you, whether it's financial life, whether it's mental health, um, fitness, many, or even your health in general, overall health, not just mental health, physical health, and others. There are many accounts to follow. One thing I like about social media is it can help you, it can make help make or my you, depending on the accounts you follow. So if you want to live a fulfilled life, you should follow accounts that impact positively on you. I mean, someone might say, oh, it's not all about um, positive impact. Even if it's an account that makes you laugh, it's a positive impact because when you laugh, you distress yourself and it cannot be overemphasized. You see someone today very healthy and tomorrow you hear the person is dead. What happened? The person is not taken care of. The mental health, some people sometimes, even I should also include this one, regular checkup should also be a prerequisite to having a stable and a stable fulfilled and sound life you should always try to check your blood pressure especially if you are in, from a family that is prone to blood pressure stress distress yourself don't overthink like i know it's not possible not to think but then when you think you should always always try to draw, know, know you should always know when to draw the line know when to draw the line don't overthink yourself like they say what will be would be but it's not always so i know sometimes we also have to act in accordance to what we want for ourselves but we just have to do our best and then leave the rest for god to complete it and that brings us to the end of this video hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you love it and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel i'm also begging you i'm still begging you please do be able to hit the red subscribe button turn on your notification bells and I will definitely see you all in my next video. This 2022, we are moving, we are making way, we are moving mountains. The universe will definitely give to us what we want. And may 2022 be a fulfilled life for us all. But then you have to be productive. Nothing good comes easily. You have to find a way. You have to fight for it. This year, so I saw a meme that said the other day, whether it's either we get it by force it's either we get it free of charge or we get it by force so when even when the door is not open you force you force your way through the window either way we all hope to make it and may god protect us all this 2022 may he fulfill our our desires and make our dreams come true and may the universe be kind to us and thank you so much for watching until the next time 
bye.